Chazak Baruch. Bezat Shem in Hatanet. Today is going to be at 420. Please be on time. The Halakha tells us that if a person is connected to Baruch Aleinu and Baruch Enu, so Shabbat, let's say it's Friday night, and the person it starts the Shmona Yisrael of uh, Friday night, the generic part of the Shmona Yisrael, and by accident, instead of saying the Tfilah of the Shabbat, he goes ahead and he says, Atachonin, the Adam Dat. And he continues, he doesn't even realize. He, he says, Atachonin, Adam Dat. He says, All of the brachot. <coughs> and then he gets up to the bracha of Barechenu. Instead of saying Barech Aleinu, he was really, he must have been really spaced out. Instead of saying Barech Aleinu, he said Barechenu. So he made a double mistake. First of all, he's not even supposed to be in the weekday tefillah. Second of all, in the weekday tefillah that he was in, he made a mistake and said the wrong thing. He said Barech Aleinu. So first let's talk in general. In general, if a person makes a mistake and he starts the tefillah of weekday on Shabbat, the rule is like this. He has to go ahead and finish that bracha. It's almost counterintuitive. You think, oh no, I'm in the weekday tefillah, let me just go back to Shabbat. No, the rule is you finish the bracha that you started, you finish that bracha, and then you go back. So if you remembered in Atachonin la damdat, oh, wait, a Shabbat, you actually have to finish the bracha and then you go back to the bracha of Shabbat, the middle text of Shabbat, whether it's a Atakidashta or it's a Yismach Moshe, whatever text it is for that specific tefillah. But uh, in this particular case, something interesting happened. So if he went ahead and said Barichenu, and he remembered before he started to kab b'shofar, and now he's supposed to go back. Well, before he goes back, he should say v'ten tanu matari bracha because he has to make the amendation. He has to fix the mistake that he made. However, if he already started tika or he got further into the shmona Yisle, then in that case. Even in the middle of the bracha, he simply just stops because we can't continue. Because by continuing, he's going to miss out the ten tanu matari bracha. So what do we tell him? We just tell him, okay, just go back to the regular Shabbat tefillah without finishing the bracha. Baruch Adonai leolam. Amen.